What is up, blackheads? I am going to be doing a kind of a weird format for this video. We're going to start out with some fan mail. We're going to go to the post office and pick up some fan mail. And we're going to end it with some fan mail. And in that in between, I don't know, we're going to talk about something. So let's go ahead and start it off. We got uh, some fan mail from Tim. If you guys do want to send stuff, that is the address right there. Blockhead Moto PO Box 18, Windermere, Florida, 34786. What is this? What? Here? Oh, it feels rounded. All right. What is it? Is it a Harley chip? Ooh. Little. <laughs> it, is a <laughs> it is a Harley chip. Nice. Dude, these got some good weight to them. That's legit. So this is funny. This is it's probably an overflow from uh Bike and Bird because Bike and Bird, if you guys don't know who Bike and Bird is, he's a fellow Harley motor vlogger. He started collecting chips, right? <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I saw one he said Lancaster. And I remember Tim posting up saying you pronounce it correctly. So Lancaster. That's awesome, man. Thank you for the chip. I appreciate it. Dude, they, they seriously have some nice weight to them. That's cool feel like legit poker chips well that's neat man Let's see what you wrote blackhead thank you for your contribution to the moto vlog world you're welcome thanks tim i certainly look forward to them each and every week pray all is well with your family here's a poker chip from my home dealer enjoy brother tim dunbar thanks tim i greatly appreciate it sir now i'm gonna have to get one of those like little poker chip holder things like bike and bird right i'll have to hit them up <sighs> i got a lot to do but i'm gonna go ride while the sun is still up I gotta get this guardian bell on the bike. I just gotta get all this stuff hooked up by uh, get lowered. But before the sun goes down, let's go jump in some traffic. All right, BRB. Hmm, is my chin vent closed? It feels a bit breezy. Easy breezy, beautiful, clever girl. So like I said earlier, I'm on my way to the post office. And uh, let's go. I believe there should be a, a package there for me. We shall see when we arrive. Who the hell are they honking at? Ramp. Ooh, sweet jump roll. Okay, so subject this time around? Uh, yeah, why not? I actually tried to film uh, this subject previously but I don't really like the way I conveyed the message uh, because it's kind of a uh, thing that I've learned as YouTube has become more prominent. Well, I guess not more prominent, but I guess as the channel has grown, right? So there is, there's a big difference between, you know, like being a YouTuber and having like 5,000 subs and being a YouTuber and having like 25,000 subs. I've found out little by little. Uh, in the beginning, whenever I first started YouTube, I wanted to be that person that answered like everybody's comment, you know, like if you commented on the channel, you know, I just wanted to let you know, and I still want to let you know, that I do greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch your videos and to comment, but I wanted to be that guy to basically reply to everybody, so they were like, all right, you have that interaction, and I actually had that recorded in a video a while back, basically saying like, uh, the way my schedule was, is like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I release videos, and then in those off days, which was like Tuesdays, Thursdays, I would basically comment and interact with you subscribers. Well, the channel has grown at an awesome rate, and that is really good because, you know, the community is developing and growing, and so, I mean, it's definitely a good thing that uh, it's, it's successful, and I've got you guys to thank for a lot of that, so thank you. But with that growth comes a whole bunch of other things and those other things are basically like managing my time or learning how to manage my time what the hell it's super weird it's like a a creepy doll pinned to a tree very strange very very strange anyways yeah i have to learn how to manage my time because in addition i mean youtube is a hobby 
for those of you that don't know, this is totally just a hobby. It's not like my main source of income or anything like that. And it has a long ways to go to even be considered a main source of income. For those of you that don't know, I um, you know, went to college, got a degree, graduated work in the field that I graduated for. And uh, I enjoy my job a lot. And it's a good career job, complete with 401k and benefits, paid time off and all that good stuff, insurance, blah, blah, blah. And it uh, allows me to have some of the nicer things in life, such as motorcycles, camera equipment to record that stuff, etc., etc. A garage to put them in. So anyways, yeah, YouTube is just a hobby. And so there's, there's other things that come before a hobby, right? Those other things include Miss Blockhead or my job, which is a full-time job, you know, at 40 hours a week, sometimes more than 40 hours a week. So yeah, basically I have to find out how to manage my time or find a path to managing my time because it used to be really easy, you know, it's like whenever having, you know, under a certain amount of subs, I could get to everybody's comments and, you know, take that time to, to personally talk to each one of you, but uh, it has kind of become overwhelming. And with that comes a number of overwhelming things. Uh, by that, I mean, I've had people post up and call me arrogant because I don't respond to their comments. And it's not that I don't want to respond to your comment, it's that I don't have the time uh, and it's been on multiple occasions that, you know, people have called me arrogant, but I don't know, man. I think you can ask anybody uh, in the Blockhead crew or anybody that I've met or hung out with. Um, I don't really consider myself arrogant, but uh, if some of y'all think otherwise, then that's, that's fine. I mean, it's your opinion. You're entitled to it. You know, I've had lots of people, like I said, these are all things I'm having to learn how to deal with as the channel grows. But like I was saying in the beginning, I recorded this subject earlier and it was focused specifically on negativity. And then after I recorded the episode, I was kind of like, you know what, like, wh why not let's kind of try and see the, the silver lining in all this and, you know, maybe see why people are kind of reacting the way they are to some of the videos and, you know, step back and look at it from a, not like an unbiased perspective perspective because I totally can't do that obviously because I'm the I'm the content creator and I'm putting my time and effort and money and all that into into this moto vlog but uh, to try and kind of view it from a perspective of outside the channel and see why maybe some of the stuff is getting you know, negative comments and what I've learned is and I took it I took it personally for a while and I've I, I think I've gotten to the point, or I know I've gotten damn close to the point of not letting that stuff impact me. Uh, you can ask some of the guys in the, the Blackhead crew previously, some of that stuff really got to me. Um, and that's only because I let it, you know? But with, with the channel, as it grows, there's going to be more trolls and more haters and all of that stuff out there and I need to basically learn to just let that stuff go and think of it in terms of like many people have said it beforehand it's like people do that because you're doing something right you know or I don't know if it, <laughs> I don't know if that's always the case but there's people that hate on like I mean there's probably a negative couple comments for every single video I put out and it could be like I could I could go to the damn animal shelter and like rescue a puppy <laughs> and I guarantee you somebody would comment negatively on it and I like I just I can't think of a negative thing about rescuing a puppy but I'm sure somebody out there could but that's just the way YouTube is you know it's like uh, one of the the realizations I've come to is that yeah like if you're going to record stuff and put yourself out there and that dude don't pull out thank you yeah if you're gonna record stuff and you're gonna put yourself out there in the in the public eye and especially on YouTube where the demographic is just from like five years old to 90 years old or something you're gonna you're gonna have to understand how to take criticism and I, I mean believe me I'm a designer I'm a, I'm a web developer I build things for a living I'm like a creative person I definitely have learned how to take criticism over the years if I didn't I would have totally sunk in my industry because 
I mean, some of the instructors, the professors that I had, like, oh my god, th their criticism was just, just totally vicious, brutal. Like, some of the things that I've heard, you know, when I went through school, just, oh my god, I'll have to do a separate episode on that, but let's just say I'm glad I wasn't those people receiving some of the, uh, the viciousness. All right, see what I just did there? I repositioned myself so that person could see me. City riding tip. Because that's like one of those really dangerous scenarios. Anyways, I can take constructive criticism. I can take criticism. It's just the... Uh, I don't know, like within my industry, it's usually that. It's usually constructive criticism. And it's not just straight hate or negative criticism. And what I've come to realize is that there's a ton of you guys out there that are incredibly supportive and pretty much like what the hell was that like a dog tailor <laughs> it's weird furry like a boa anyways there's there's a ton of you guys out there you know i mean for the most part most of you subscribers out there that uh, are very supportive of the channel and pretty much everything i do what up dude staring okay thank you nice car yeah, and like you guys are supportive in what I do. And for like every every now and then I'd say maybe like one out of a hundred or so, maybe one maybe even less than that, maybe like one out of like five hundred. There's people out there that just wanna, you know, take a piss in your Cheerios. Isn't that a saying? I feel like I've I've heard that somewhere before. And that's something that uh I think I was really good with dealing with at first. Um, you know, Bike and Bird and I had this discussion about, like, yeah, you can't react negatively to, uh, to these things, man, just kill them with kindness. You know, they hate that even more. You know, just respond with kindness. And so that's what I did for a while. But just after a while, it starts to wear on you, man. Like, this is so much negativity. And I, I preach positivity on this channel, like, constantly. And the reason I do that is because, like, I'm a positive person. I, I'm pretty upbeat, you know. I like to have a good time. I'm pretty lighthearted. I mean, as you guys should be able to tell by, like, if you've watched any of the videos, you know, sense of humor and, you know, I call myself stupid all the time. So, yeah, I mean, just, I try to, I try to have a good time. And there's just some people out there that don't agree with that. Which is fine. Like I said, people are entitled to that opinion. But I have to learn how to deal with that as the channel grows. Because as the channel grows, there are more and more of those people. <sighs> Anyways. This place isn't near as creepy when you come in during the day. Alright, stuff. We got packages. One from Motonosity, the other from Dawn. D-O-N, Dawn. I like the dish soap. Oh man, something smells good. What the? Why is the flag at a uh, half staff? What happened? Backpack, backpack. Anyways, the last time I tried to record this video, I like I was kind of in that negative funk mood, and so the video came off as negative as well, which like I said, I try to preach positivity on the channel, and so I need to hold myself to those standards. Ooh, a raptor. I like. Yeah, I need to hold myself to those same standards, and like, even in a negative situation, I need to try and kind of, like I said, see the silver lining. And the silver lining is this. I'm seeing a ton more negativity. Like, negative comments, like people being condescending, insulting, or threatening, and all that stuff. And the reason I'm seeing all that is because the channel is growing. It's because the community is growing. It's because I'm using this as a platform to voice my opinions and not everybody is gonna agree with my opinions and that is totally okay. Now, the way they go about not agreeing with my opinions is, I mean, not how I would go about disagreeing with somebody's opinions, but that's, I guess, the joy of people and their different personalities, right? Not everybody is going to be like, you know, reserved or cool, calm, collected, level-headed, you know? There's going to be people out there that fly off the handle. I've got plenty of friends that I know that, that are those people. 
but it's like all right bro like come on no need to be reacting like that had an experience recently <laughs> where uh you know i had one of those friends and they were in a situation where i really did not need them to be flying off the handle because it just made it worse for everybody else i guess that's the silver lining there is that i'm seeing more of that stuff i'm seeing more of the negative comments and the pessimism and all that stuff more often because the channel is is growing and the community is developing and the uh the blockhead community is kind of slowly finding itself you know i addressed this in a motor vlog a while back basically saying that the catalyst to the vlog and to getting a lot of people here are the are the bikes are the motorcycles that i ride you know especially for the fact that i do lots of how-to videos you know i do test rides and i think test rides is kind of bringing a different medley of of people to the channel but you know, I had, it started out with a Harley, and so it brought a lot of the cruiser crowd, and then I got an R6, and then some people started coming in with sport bikes, and you know, the Yamaha R6 and such. And then I ended up getting rid of the iron, and I got the Dyna Lowrider S, and so then some of the Dyna crowd started coming in. And then uh, I traded the R6, and I got the CBR, and I'm already starting to see some, some CBR people coming in, you know, saying how they own one, and it's the best bike, and they love it. So it's like, the community is finding itself and you guys all interact together in the community and thus far it, and it's pretty crazy like i've seen a lot of you guys comment back and forth amongst yourselves and like just like really disagree with one another and i it's i've actually been impressed quite a bit of the times because i would say i don't know like maybe 75 percent of the time people end up saying all right like you know we we have a difference of opinion let's just agree to disagree and it's like dude that's cool because that doesn't really happen on youtube Ooh, snap oh yes that is nice okay i feel like max wrist car spotted doo -doo 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 -doo. let's do a wheelie by him it's too bad i don't know how to do a wheelie regardless i'm gonna roll up beside him though I like it. It's a nice car, man. Oh man, I don't have a spam card. So yeah, totally like boop. Hand off spam card. Where was I? Man, I got super derailed by <laughs> by a really nice car. Uh something about difference of opinion, how people present it, growth of the channel, community. Oh yeah. We we're talking about how the community is finding itself and people disagreeing and me actually being surprised with how people disagree sometimes and it coming to like a peaceful resolution which is pretty impressive pretty impressive anyways i don't know that's that's kind of my insight and my take on the matter regardless of that negativity i mean there's just so much more positivity and so much more opportunity that has come from this channel so like for that i am incredibly incredibly grateful number one being the friendships that i've made you know like the blockhead crew and you know the people that i get to go and ride with or the people that i get to meet or dude just people like randomly in traffic being like oh snap like you know i watch your videos you know it's just such a rewarding feeling and i'm just super super grateful and i try and stay really humble about it um <laughs> it kind of goes against the, the arrogant comments but i really do try to stay humble just because i think ego and and arrogance you know are definitely tied together and uh ego is just the killer of all things good so I, i've seen it happen so many times ego is just the silent killer so i mean if you guys ever think i have an ego just freaking check me and you know, i've actually asked that of the blockhead crew i'm like yo if i ever get like this you guys let me know that i'm being a jackass or let me know that i'm being stupid you know don't be afraid to call me out on any bullshit because that's not the type of person that i am and it's it's a learning experience i think for uh for me for sure you know the the youtubes putting videos out on youtube and such and learning to uh you know interact with the community and like a lot of it comes down to managing my time because you know i've got a 
manage a full-time job. I've got to manage a, a full-time relationship with Miss Block. I've got to manage being able to uh, create content, you know, go on rides and basically like have these friendships and invest into these friendships because, you know, friendships are work, man. Relationships are work. I can't always have the damn camera on. Uh, cobblestone soul. <laughs> Uh, I was joking, but actually it does kind of suck. Is there nothing down here? I don't like that lake shot. <laughs> yes, there it is right there. What are these buildings? They look really old. Hmm, that's a cool backdrop. I mean, kinda. Uh, iPhone 6S Plus, man. This thing is lagging. I haven't done the update yet, but I've heard a lot of people have done the update and it gets all wonky. Anyways, I feel like this episode's getting kind of long-winded and such, talking about all this positivity and, you know, <laughs> you get that? All this positivity. See, I'm not focusing on that negativity, because that ain't welcome here. Definitely a learning process. <laughs> I've, gone to, I've gone to other people's channels and seen them mentioning my name in the comments, and it's kind of like, come on, man. Well, seen them mentioning my name negatively in the comments. You live, you learn, right? And we're learning. So, for those of you guys that are sticking with me, thank y'all for having patience as, uh, yeah, kind of learning this whole balance. Anyways, I'm going to cut to the garage to opening these new packages. We'll go from there. <laughs> okay. Alright, we're back in the garage. Backpack off. Lights that were supposed to be temporary on. They lit up the area quite nicely, I'd say. Most expensive coat hanger ever. Let's open up some more fan mail. Or fan mail and mail mail. Thank you, Don. So once again, if you guys are interested in sending fan mail, that is the address right there. Blockhead Moto P.O. Box 18 Windermere, Florida 34786. The precision of a surgeon. No way, more, more poker chips. See what you started, Biking Bird? We got Bayside, Harley Davidson in Portsmouth, Virginia. Man, that's like I'm really impressed by these poker chips. They uh, they feel legit. They sound legit when you poker chip them together. So yeah, we got one from Bayside Harley Davidson in Portsmouth, Virginia, and we got another one from Southside Harley Davidson from. Virginia Beach, Virginia. That's awesome, man. Look at that. Crazy. Big thanks to Don and Tim. Appreciate you guys sending the uh, the chips. That's awesome. That's really funny. <laughs> People started sending me those too because of Bike and Weird. Cool. I appreciate it. Oh, hell yeah. So Don says, Dear Blackhead, greetings from Virginia Beach, Virginia. I mentioned this before online, but you were the single biggest influence on my purchase of a 2013 HD Iron 883. You are my idol. Oh, come on. I'm not, I'm not idol worthy. <laughs> you gave me the confidence to conquer my fears and like Nike to just do it. That's awesome. When I think just do it, I think of uh, Shia LaBeouf when he's like, do it. Clip. Just do it. I have enclosed two Harley Davidson poker chips from the two nearest dealers here in Hampton Roads area. One from Bayside HD in Portsmouth, Virginia and the other from Southside HD in Virginia Beach, Virginia. The Hampton Roads area encompasses several cities including Norfolk, Virginia Beach, Hampton, Newport News, Chesapeake, and Portsmouth. Is it Portsmouth? 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 It is also the largest concentration of U.S. Navy in one area as well as home to the largest naval base in the world. I myself am a retired U.S. Navy veteran. Very cool, man. Thank you for your service. Greatly appreciated. Next time I'm in Orlando, we must ride together. Keep up the awesome job. Don. And picture of the bike. It's a good looking bike, sir. Hell yeah, I like the sissy bar. Flying the flags on the back. Where are you that they ch have to check your ID? Mm. Assuming at a watering hole. It's a good spot to be. Thank you for the letter, man. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys all for the letters, for the poker chips. To me, it's super awesome that the channel has influenced some of you guys to the point of, you know, having the confidence to, to buy a motorcycle. I never really anticipated the channel actually influencing people like that, so it's really cool to know that, that it has. And uh, I've got a lot, of, a lot of messages from people saying thank you and, 
um, basically saying that the channel's given them confidence to ride again or to modify their own bikes. So it's, it's just really cool to see that, the positive influence that the channel has had, which, like I said, never really expected it. So thank you guys, man. It's, it's stuff like that that makes it all worth it. So thank y'all. I appreciate it. All right, so now the package from Motonocity. Dude, I, I watched one of Cat Cam's videos. <laughs> I watched a couple of Cat Cam's videos, so shout out Cat Cam. Um, and she always says Motonocity's name with like a British accent. So I was watching one of his videos later down the road, and uh, in my head I was like, oh, okay, like, let's, uh, let's watch Motonocity's video. And ever since then, like, every time I see his name, I always think Motonocity, like she says it all British or whatever. Anyways, this is actually an order that I placed through him. Uh, they are having the Texas Moto Meet in Texas, of all places, right? And uh, so I ordered a couple tings. Uh, being from Texas, I felt the need to order a Texas Moto Meet t-shirt. I did want to go, um, and I was going to go, but unfortunately, a work function came up. TXMM17. God, I wish I could go. Man, freaking career. Order a sticker as well, which will be going right on to here uh, get out of here mosquito damn you're gonna get stuck in there forever like amber boom texas moto meat sticker stuck <laughs> i wish i could go thanks for the support motonocity cool bro thanks for the shirt and the sticker appreciates all right blackheads i hope you guys have enjoyed the episode bit of a weird one right start off with some fan mail go get some fan mail in the process talk about whatever's on my mind and then come back and open up some more fan mail so it's like a it's like a fan mail sandwich right fan mail episode meatiness and then fan mail so fan mail sandwich although they don't call sandwiches because of the stuff that's on the outside they call sandwiches on what's on the inside so would that really be a fan mail sandwich Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. If you guys are not subscribed already, be sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. While you're over there, hit that bell icon so that it sends you notifications of future uploads. When you hit the bell icon, make sure you click the option that says notify me of any and all uploads. P.S. I love Blockhead. <laughs> Till next time, you guys ride safe out there. Stay vigilant. Thank you once again to you guys that sent some stuff and uh, letters greatly appreciated if you guys are interested in sending fan mail like i said you can find the address in the description down below until next time you guys ride safe out there stay vigilant and i'll catch y'all later deuces